right, guys, we are live here with our 2013 Sport Cart Grands Day 2 Leader Panel. Leading the way thus far in the white t-shirt here, Casey Cook is your overall leader after Day 2. On the far left side of your screen, Darren Mercer rejoining the head table today, sitting in P2. Far right of your screen, Jarrett King has moved up into P3, heading into the final day. And also seated next to Casey Cook is our Masters leader, Jay Schreiber. Give these guys a round of applause. <laughs> Casey, we'll start with you. Uh, obviously, you're in the position that 99 other drivers wish they were in at this point, uh, but there's still a, uh, a whole other day of racing to go. You got to be happy with where you're at. How did today go for you overall? Uh, still consistent, just like yesterday. Um, uh, Working real well with everyone else, and I got a big target on my back, so I'm sitting up here at the top, <laughs> and uh, just trying to make the best of every day. Got a whole other day tomorrow, so there's a lot to do. So. Speaking of tomorrow, a lot of, uh, of big time variables. We got a track which no one knows uh, what it's going to be. Uh, we've got a slightly different format with the pre-finals being 30 laps long. We're now including pit stops. Uh, the game pretty much changes completely completely tomorrow. What's your strategy going in with such a big shift in format? Um, i got to work on the pit stops so to take it easy going into the pits. Um, and uh, you know, work on my endurance. I've never done any endurance races, so this 55 lap is going to probably take a pounding on me and see what I can do. Nice. We'll go ahead and move over to Darren Mercer in P2 here. <coughs> Darren, the only driver uh, back at the table after day two. Uh, there's been quite a few drivers having some massive swings around you, but uh, as Casey mentioned, consistency is what counts. How were you able to uh, achieve that today and get yourself back up here? Uh, you know, I, I, I got to thank uh, Honda Motors uh, <laughs> uh, and, and Eric and Bob uh, giving me good cars out there, the mechanics. Um, no, definitely it, it's... <laughs> do make it happen for us um, but really it's it's running consistent um, trying to stay out of trouble uh, every everybody out here is, is trying to do the same thing and uh, if you can just uh, keep the nose clean and, and run clean laps that's that's where it's at you uh you currently sit just a point and a half back of Casey Cook right now you're both dropping a 38 point score so you're just about dead even going into the final day here um, Really, what's your strategy with the uh, the new format tomorrow? What are you looking to uh, to accomplish out there? I'm just gonna put them in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no. I, honestly, uh, I'm gonna go out there. It's a little longer race. Um, it's it's not as a uh, short sprint racing like it is today. Uh, so I'm gonna go out there and, and try to find someone to link up with, run some good laps, and uh, hopefully I can make it into the top five. If because um, that, that's right now is what I'm dropping. So if uh, stay in the top five and find some find a buddy to link up with and see what I can make happen, make clean pit stops. Excellent. Pretty much uh, guaranteed of a super final appearance for tomorrow. Good luck to you. We'll pass it over to Jarrett King sitting P3. Jarrett, hardest working man in sport karting. You were in the booth the whole lot today. Uh, and uh, when you were on track, you were showing him how it's done. How uh, how did today go for you overall? It it was pretty good. It started off good. Jerry King giving Jerry King and a Kitty Reichen in that here. Jerry, obviously uh, a bunch of strong runs for you today. Um, you got to be happy with where you're sitting. Obviously, you'd like to be a couple seats to your right if possible, but not a bad position to be in. Is there anything uh, that you feel you left on the table today, a thing that you look back at as, a, as an opportunity missed? I should have won a few more. <laughs> that would um, always help. Um, there, there's some good racing out there. Um, I had a few difficult cards and tried my best in them. First heat, I should have made a few better moves, but it's racing, so I'll, I'll capitalize on that tomorrow. I'll get both of them. <laughs> With the uh, with the new the different track layout we ran today versus yesterday, what was your take on uh, how that affected the racing overall? 
Did it help? Did it hurt? Did it separate? What's the, what was your take on the, the style of racing today versus yesterday? I, I really enjoyed the new format, uh, the new track layout yet, last year. Um, so I think tomorrow is going to be another fun day. It's going to leave a lot of people puzzled. Uh, it's going to open up the racecraft, and there's going to be a lot of inexperienced drivers. I've been on the commentary all day talking about inexperienced drivers as opposed to the experienced drivers out there. The inexperienced drivers are going to get really aggressive. There may be a few hairpins that be passing opportunities. And on a new track, people are going to get flustered and get excited. And, hey, oh, there's an opening. I'm going to go stick it in there. So I think a new track, a new layout is really going to separate the championship contenders from your back markers and mid-pack drivers. Excellent. Well, uh, you're sitting in a good spot heading into Super Sunday. Keep the momentum rolling. Best of luck to you. We'll pass it back over to our points leader, <coughs> or our master's points leader, that is. Jay, uh, it's been a, a very solid year here at CalSpeed for you. Uh, you posted some strong results, won yourself a Super Series race earlier this season. Looks like you've carried that momentum straight into the Grands. Uh, what's been your, your key to success just this year in general here? Well, I think in general, you know, it's just uh, yeah, a little bit of attitude and also just trying to be smart, you know, not trying to stick it in where it's iffy. You know, <laughs> you, you think you're going to be able to accomplish it, but uh, you're better off just to, to give a little room. You know, Mike says at every, every race in the uh, uh, driver's meeting, you know, to give each other room. If you're leaning against each other, you're slowing each other down, you're giving other people an opportunity. So yeah, I tried to take that to heart and really just uh, you know, try and look for the openings that are going to work and uh, make the best of the ones that don't. Absolutely. You got yourself to the, uh, to the front of a couple heat races today. Uh, one in particular stood out. You had a good battle with Fred Ogram. Yep. Uh, you tried to put a move on him uh, there at the very end. You use your, uh, your experience on this track. You wind up with a P2. Is that a, a bit of regret, or is that playing it safe and, uh, and keeping yourself in a good position for tomorrow? Oh, yeah. No, it was it was definitely uh, uh, you know no 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 looking back on that one at all. Uh, you know, going into it, I was happy with second place. If he gave me an opening, I was going to try and take it. You know, I, I made the first move on him going into the uh, uh, new hairpin uh, just at the end of the back stretch, uh, which I was able to pull off, and I knew he'd try and uh, go underneath me into Long Beach, but. Up until that point, I'd been a lot stronger off Long Beach than he was, so I thought I probably have a chance to, to make it stick. So he came in under me. I took a little wider line than normal, and I just missed the sweet spot on the turn, so I didn't have to drive off of it and keep it part away. But I knew there wasn't anybody close enough to us, so you know it was worth a try, and uh, I was very happy with second in that one. Obviously, banking some valuable points there. Smart move heading into Super Sunday. You're in a, you're in the prime position, as we noted. Uh, about 19 points up on your rival. Uh, at this point, what's the pressure uh, not to lose it? I mean, you're heading in tomorrow, and uh, it's all on your shoulders. It's yours for the taking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, yeah, don't screw it up. That's, uh, that's the bottom line <laughs> tomorrow. That's, that's really it. Uh, you know, hopefully the cart draw is favorable, and, you know, at least if I can pull at least a mid-pack type cart and qualify well, you know, I, I think that I'll be okay. So it's uh, just a matter of if, uh, you, you know, if I pull a bad card, well, then, you know, all bets are off. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to get through the semis and move on to the, the final. Well, congrats on a strong two days of competition. We'll hand it back over to our point leader, Casey Cook, for some final thoughts here. Casey, uh, as, was, as has been mentioned, tomorrow's unknown track configuration uh, is going to wreak havoc with uh, a lot of people's hopes here. It's going to be up to the guy that can adapt the quickest and, uh, and figure it out the fastest. With this two-lap qualifying, uh, that's going to be crucial tomorrow. What's your uh, what's your thoughts? Are you going to get here early track walk? Uh, maybe stay late tonight, try and get a couple spy shots. What's your uh, what's your plan? Uh, probably come early tomorrow, do a track walk. Um, <coughs> just quickly to new track layouts. Uh, they're a lot of fun to me. I pick them up pretty quick. We're racing around a lot of good guys, so quick to pick it up. And uh, we're just looking forward to tomorrow. We'll see how it turns out. Casey, as a... Uh, a past Rookie of the Year championship winner in the Cal Speed Super Series, uh, your progression has come along very, very quickly. You were uh, known as one of the top electric kart drivers, but you've been able to make the transition uh, really brilliantly and uh, and get yourself to the front. What's been your key to, to adapting to not only this style of racing, but the electric to gas transition? Um, it, it, it gave me the basics. I only started racing two years ago, so when I started camo, I was just getting into it. 
Um, I've been doing it for about a year and a half, and I came out here, and having everybody else around me that has been out here doing this has really helped me a lot. Um, over this last year, it's been a night and day difference from where I was at the Sport Car Grand Nationals last year to this year, and I've got to thank them and thank you guys for helping me out. Well, you heard it here first. You can start karting right now, and in two years, you could be sitting at the head of the table here at the Sport Car Grand Nationals. Give our top three and our Masters leader a round of applause. Congratulations, guys, and best of luck to you on day three, Super Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.